So we're going to have a run through of the new layout builder module, which is a new experimental module that's been added to Drupal core and it'll be available from 8.5.0. So with Drupal's new experimental module policy, um, any module that makes its way into a stable release of Drupal core must be at least beta stability. So the layout builder module will be beta stability, which means there's an upgrade path and which means the API is finished. So let's just make sure the module's enabled. Um, so on the side, I've got layout discovery enabled, which is a um, core module. I've got the layout builder enabled, and I've also got some country layout library modules. Uh, so what has changed? Well, the first thing we'll notice is if we look at manage fields for article, we've got a body, a comment, an image field, and a tag field. But if we were to look at manage display for that, we'll notice that the normal table that you would see is gone. So if we contrast that with, for example, manage form display, which is what you typically would have seen at manage display, um, you know, we have the table with the fields and you can drag and drop, and we have the um, choice of widget. When we go to manage display, that form is gone and it's been replaced with the manage layout button. So this is only if you have layout builder enabled. If you don't have it enabled, you have a normal field UI experience. So I click on manage layout and this takes me to the form where I can manage the layout for the article content items. So we've got a save button here and a cancel button. Now these are just uh, work in progress. The intention is that this will integrate with the toolbar module eventually, but for the time being, um, until that's available, we've got buttons here. So how do I configure formatters? Um, so I've just got a sample representation of an article here. And if you've used develop generate module in Contrib before, this may look familiar. It's building a sample of what an article may look like. So I've got a sample image, some sample body fields, and some of the other fields. So if I click on edit on this and configure, um, the settings tray pops up and I'm given the ability to configure my image. So these fields from here down, the label, the formatter, the style, etc. These are what you would always see on the manage display form. So if I want to change the image to use a different format, I can do that. Or if I want to change the image style, I can do that. What I can also do is I can add a custom title. So at the moment, this is uh, just using the field name, but we can actually modify that because this is um, reusing much of the block system, kind of like um, we've seen in the C-Tools prior to this. So I can put a different title here if I want and display it. But now I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, so that's how I would change my formatter settings. How do I change the order of my fields? Well, I can just drag and drop. So I'm just going to drag the body up above the image. And I can save it here if I like. Um, so you probably also notice we have the add section. So if I click add section, this will present to me a list of layouts that are available to layout discovery. So if I had display suite enabled, I would see more layouts here. Or if I define more layouts in a theme or a custom module, I would also see those here. And we'll talk a little bit about how that's done towards the end. So at the moment, these are fairly basic. Um, some of them probably aren't the best fit for Layout Builder because um, we notice this one here has three rows and you'll notice that we have already got the concept of rows in Layout Builder. So um, we have an issue open just to provide some two up, three up without the rows. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go with the two column because I wanna demonstrate the side-by-side -side functionality. So if I add that, now I've got new regions to put my blocks into. So I can drag my image, for example, out of this section into the left of that section. And I can put my text on the right. And let's say I want to put my tags underneath the image. And I want to put the comments in the body. Now it's a little temperamental here. Yeah. So let's save that. Now, as I said, it, it reuses the block system. Um, I did edit the existing fields and I did add a new section, but I can also add a block. So for example, if I wanted to add any of the standard blocks that you would normally see in say page manager or panels, um, I have the option to do that. So we have the content section, which is basically a list of fields. So this is how we would add, and we can add a second image if we want. Um, we have some you know generic page building elements as well. But you'll notice that we're only taking over the content area of the page, the main content area. So all the blocks from the typical block system here are on the outside. Now there is an open issue to have it take over the whole page, uh, but for this early uh, version of it um, that we're going to see in 8.5, it'll only be taken over the main content area. I'm just going to close that for now. 
and go back to my manage display. So let's have a look at what that does to an article. So here's a an article that um, just had the standard layout, and if I reload it now that I've managed um, changed the layout, I should see the two column approach that we sort of um, configured and managed layout before. And so yeah, it, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> it's just dropped down. Um, so if we were to want to mo modify this layout for this particular um, article, if I go back to manage display, you'll notice that there's a checkbox here that's allow each content to have its layout customized. I'm going to enable that. And I'm going to reload this page. And now we have a layout tab that's peculiar just to this article. And so I can override, um, this is something probably people are familiar with for Panelizer, I can override the layout just for this um, block. Now you notice that in this theme, these two columns aren't actually splitting on two columns. It's just a peculiarity between this theme and that particular layout. But if I wanted to, for this article only, I could move the image to the top of the page. Um, I can configure it to use a different image style. And so I'll save that. Now you notice there's a revert button there to revert back to defaults. But essentially this allows us to customize the layout of an individual article. So this one is um, really completely different to, to the others. So this is fairly powerful because we've not really had this functionality before. Um, so where to next for this? So there's quite a few issues open. The user experience has got a bit of work to do, but in terms of the data model and in terms of the way it's configured, um, you know, we, we're expecting this to be stable. Um, so let's have a look at one of the um, modules that I mentioned, so layout library. So the intent of this layout library is this will allow you to come up with a list of pre-configured layouts. So you saw before that we had the defaults for this article and then we had the individual one customized for that. Um, the intent of this module is it would be able to provide, um, site builders would be able to create and deploy like a list of pre-configured um, layouts. So we might make one for article two here and we're gonna make that available to the article content type. And I should mention that this works for all content entities because it integrates with managed display. Um, and so the API that Layout Builder provides means that third party modules can integrate with it as well. So here's the exact same form. Um, and so this is done by creating a plugin that implements um, the section storage plugin interface and essentially you're just responsible there for telling Drupal that okay this is a new way of storing layouts that's um, associated with a particular um, paradigm and yeah once you implement the interface and tell it some paths for your routing you can essentially use the same layout builder and store it however you like so the default storage for example of managed display is it's stored in the um, the view display entity, so the config entity that's deployed when you do manage display. Um, the implementation for the article level is it's stored in a field on the content entity. And then the implementation for the, um, for this one, for example, is storing in its standalone config entity. So it's a pretty flexible API. If we look at the, um, the way these layouts work, for example, when we add a section, um, this is just the standard layout discovery module. Um, so you'll see from, if we look at, for example, the core layouts, so they're defined in a YAML file, you give them a name, um, you give them a label, and you basically list out the regions. Um, and then with that, you provide your Twig template and essentially you just output each of the regions. So it's fairly uh, flexible. If I could see that uh, in your theme, you might want to provide your site owners with a large array of layouts. And I expect that there'll be contrib modules popping up that provide um, a fairly decent set of standards. 
So yeah, that's the layout builder module. Um, give it a try and let us know what you think.